Hey there you guys, it's uh, Blake here, um, making this video and um, I wanted to show off some of my gear that I use um, with carrying and um, you know inside the waistband to outside the waistband. Um, holsters and um, you know basically what I, what I run I find comfortable and I would recommend for you to buy. Um, now, here I have this belt made up, it's kind of custom, as you can see, um, it has the two magazines fitting these guys, one in this one, and one in this one, and then, and, what is it, yeah, and then in, um, here, I have another magazine that slides out of there and on the other side I have another magazine that slides out of there as well um, so in total I can carry um, I might change up the way that these two go in there when I carry um, just because they're not really really secure I mean they're secure enough you know but like I said, got four magazines here, two here, and then the two here. Yeah, okay. That's as far as um, my magazines. Other than uh, I started off with the Black Hawk. The Black Hawk. Um, I guess you could say this is inside the waistband. The clip is nice and fat and made out of metal and um, the only thing with this is um, on the sides here it's a little bit rougher um, than um, even that Uncle Mike's um, holster and, well, that I'm about to show you um, but this is designed to you know have the gun go down in it and um, you tuck tuck this in this is inside the waistband or you can wear it outside the waistband but um, the thing about it is you have to switch it over to this side the clip and be outside the waistband I don't like wearing on outside the waistbands so but on top of here is another fully loaded magazine so this actually is pretty pretty comfortable for um, you know what it, it is a kind of bulkier case but I'll never get rid of this one because um, this I had my PT 24-7 Taurus full size and this is my slim model um, and the concealment on it is just so deep um, and I don't want to like scare you guys this gun has been safety checked but you know there is basically what the bar where the barrel sits and um, my full size you know it just on the, on the adjustments here on 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 this clip side and on here you just slide them up slide them down and adjust it to your gun um, so this is an excellent case. I, I recommend this for inside the waistband, um, or really outside the waistband too. I use this K, uh, this um, sorry, I'm, I use this holster um, many a times outside the waistband. You know, when I didn't have my CCW, I would throw this in the car. You know, and having the snap in Florida, you have to have a snap. You can't just have um, you know, no snap or velcro. You gotta have some way of the. It's one of the processes, three process. You gotta unsnap it. Then you gotta be able to reach in your glove box. Well, first of all, you have the gun um, holstered and snapped. So this will be in your glove box, and. Um, then you reach in your glove box, that's one. 
actually going in and unpopping it is two and then actually pulling the gun is three so um that that's that with that case I love the, the black hawk for inside or outside the waistband um inside the waistband um kind of tend not to want to carry an extra mag but um you know it's put there for a reason and I do like to have the extra mag due to the fact that um this only that my uh PT 740 only shoots um seven rounds and that's one one in the chamber um now we're going to move on to a couple products out of the box product um that I use on my gun first is the Hoag Handle Junior Grip. Um, this uh, slipped over my um, seven PT740 with no problems, and it's holding up. It's hogging up. Um, on the back here it says this grip fits pocket-sized auto pistols from the following manufacturers. Well, it has a from Walther to Colt to the AR-15 rifles, um, American Arms, Jennings, Davis, Taurus, um, Beretta, um, like I said, Colt, AMT, uh, Seacamp, Ivor Johnson, KBI. Um, what it, it really doesn't say, it just says ambidextrous, palm swells, and finger groove. Uh, give the ultimate look and comfort to your pocket pistol. Well, it's not the best looking thing, but um, it really helps when firing off this 40 um, and it being so small. Um, let's see, now it's a, you know, it gives the directions easy, easy to install, non slip. Um, really recommend this. There, uh, I got this, and then the Pierce Grip Pinky Extension for my 740. I got this as a package deal on Amazon for like $12. You go to Walmart, and they have the little grip, um, like Hogue wannabes, the, the slip-on grip, and they're like, Ten bucks or something like that, and they're like, you can feel it's just made out of crap material that if you pulled on it too hard, you might rip it. You know, the hogs are really, really, really thick. Um, I don't know if you can see on on here because I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, I got the hog grip right there on on there, and then um, you know, it kind of goes over the mag release, but it's right there you know and this is one of my magazines with the pierce grip I got two of them that I put the grip on and um, you know it's just really really nice um good good little setup there um okay now moving on this is my I just bought this and I just made a video about you know me buying it I wore this I've been wearing this for the last couple of days this is the Uncle Mike's size 12 inside the waistband um, it has a plastic clip which I was kinda worried about but I got this this um, for ten dollars now the way the material is on the outside it's great oh man like you don't I did not feel my gun on me I knew it was there but I didn't real I like in, unless I went to go pull my pants up a little bit you know the, oh yeah I got a gun there I might not want to pull my shirt up but um did not leave any kind of printing anywhere that I I put I put it and you know, like when you get sweaty and stuff, it's not sticking to you. It's like a suede. And on the inside, it's a nice nylon. Um, the retention on it is super sweet. I love it. 
Um, it's still breaking in, but oh shit! Never mind. Definitely been breaking in in the last couple of days. It's all right. Um, the guy at the shop told me that you know this might happen. Well, I'm about to fuck my computer up. How it sucks. That's okay. But, you know, I'm going to do it like this. Over. I can I can feel it slipping. You know, but whenever it's inside your pants, it has a deep, deep, um, con deep uh, concealment in the holster. That when I put it on me, I just don't feel it. And it's so light, like this holster's so, so, so light. I don't, I don't even think maybe it's a gram, maybe two grams, at the most. Um, and this is another Uncle Mike's. Now, also here, I have another Uncle Mike's. This is a um, outside the waistband holster. I really don't know if I'm gonna hold on to this one. Um, I don't need three holsters. I'm really happy with the two that I got. Um, I paid sixteen dollars and change. You know, I think it was like eighteen or nineteen dollars with tax. Um, I don't really have any complaints about its functionality or whatever. It's just it's I don't like to wear out of the waistband holsters period and um, this one I bought you know thinking that it was inside the waistband but it's not I mean I can always slide it in the pocket or whatever but it's still kinda bulky you know um, definitely gonna leave a print and um, yeah I got the box here I bought it and it says that this is fits the two to three inch barrel small and medium re double action revolvers except two inch five shots so um i guess i mean the snubbies so i'm gonna go throw this back in the box i'm gonna go later on this week and um i'm gonna put this towards some ammo or just get my money back don't need it and if you want it, um, you know, I'll, the sticker price is at all. $16. I'll let it go for that. Plus shipping or whatever. Um, let's see what else we got laying around here. Um, really, that's about it. Other than today I picked up, um, an otter box by Realtree for my Samsung Galaxy. Really nice case. Um, I just, uh, I got a good, real, really good deal on that. Um, they're usually like 56 bucks and my buddy had uh, had one and I picked it up off him for like 10 bucks. So. Um, okay, so you got the pure scripts and you got the Uncle Mike's in the Black Hawk case um, holster going to be getting rid of this one love these products um, I just hold, I'm a pack rat so I, hold, I held on to it um, the packaging that is um, other than that I just wanted to say that that's what I use for my combination thank you Taurus um, and um that's that's basically what I use. I'm trying to look around here and make sure that there's nothing else that um you know, that I use and I haven't mentioned, but no, that's it for this video. Um definitely, definitely recommend these guys. Gosh, whatever gun you got, if you need a size fourteen, whatever, they go up in size to fit your gun. These are so 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 comfortable. And um, I was hesitant of the plastic clip, and which you can get them in metal, but you know this is ten dollars, ten bucks, and um, you know when it goes inside, I'm worried about the retention going, you know, 
down of course when I sit down I want to make sure that it's not sliding down so you know I'll kind of hold it a little bit and um, I haven't noticed at all of it slipping it out slipping out or anything but you know um, like Rocco told me the guy that told me this at AAA Gun and Pawn um, that you, it'll break in for you and um, you know that kind of stuff is gonna happen I just hope I didn't fudge up my computer but <laughs> it's alright um, I'm gonna end the video on that note and if you have any questions about any of these products and um, you know where to get anything um, I'll definitely be able to help you out with that um, if you're a Taurus person I'll really be able to help you out um, so let me know what your problem is comment subscribe and uh, of course I will get back with you and uh, you guys like Taurus says no line carry on keep carrying on the movement because our second amendment we're not we want, we're not going to take it at the butt on this one so uh, you politicians and everybody out there I mean, just deal with it if you don't like guns don't own one if you want bad things to happen to you and you not be able to protect your family or yourself then uh, go ahead and do what you gotta do but until next time carry on